Ladies and gentlemen, today we have another handheld console to review. And this is it right here. And a little spoiler warning. This is probably like the eighth console that I've reviewed, like retro handheld console. And this one is by far my favorite. So we're gonna go check out the quality of the emulation quickly and a couple features. Then we'll come back over here and I'll give you my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Pal Kitty model RGB20 Pro. Yeah, the names really never get better, but some way, somehow, the consoles keep getting better. I mean, can we just look at this damn console right here? This thing is absolutely beautiful. I am in love with this design, this olive green is just such an amazing color for a console. Like, why can't we have a Nintendo Switch that color? And I don't know if the camera will really pick it up well, but there's like this hard plastic shell over the console. Um, yeah, just a chef's kiss, man. It is so damn nice. This one is pretty interesting though, because it has these two thumbsticks right here. And they kind of look out of place, but they really do serve a nice purpose. So normally when you get a console that's in the Game Boy shape, it kind of caps out around like, Super Nintendo or maybe Game Boy Advance or sometimes PlayStation 1. This console really surprised me with all the amazing consoles that are on it. We have stuff like Capcom, I guess, arcades, um, Wonderswan, um, what else do we have? PC Engine, Family Computer, Famicom, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, which this is super impressive because when you go in here and look at all these damn games, then it's almost worth it just for the Nintendo 64 alone. I mean, it even has Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. You could give me this console and it only have these two games and I would say it's perfect. So if you've watched me do these reviews before, you'll know one of my favorite games to test out is Tony Hawk because there's just so much stuff happening on the screen and you're pressing all these buttons pretty fast. And um, yeah, I mean, it's Tony Hawk. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this game is amazing. I've beat these games a million times. They are some of my favorite games. And I'm not very good at talking while playing video games. So, um, yeah. Look, I can still remember the 900, though. So whenever I test these consoles out, I always test it with the same games like Tony Hawk and Sonic just because the screen is moving really fast. And if it can play those games, it can probably play everything else. Let's try something a little different. This is actually a PSP game. Budokai 2, one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z games, probably of all time, probably actually my favorite Dragon Ball Z game. This is Shin Budokai 2, which is the PSP version. I gotta say, man, my phone is not making it look that, that good, probably. Let's see if I can focus it better. I don't know. But this screen looks great. All right. I don't know if I can remember anything on these games. All right, I can. Cool. I haven't played one of these games in, I don't even know, like 15 years. And it's crazy. You can still remember how to do all the stuff. Dude, this is freaking awesome. Oh, no, Piccolo. So a really cool thing is, is you can go in here and change the UI settings. And you can change the theme to a Switch. And now, let's see. Yeah, look, it scrolls like a Switch. Dude, that's so freaking cool. Um, maybe I'm easily impressed by dumb stuff like this. Maybe that's the case, right? But I do not care. This is so damn cool to me. Let's play some wrestling. Oh my God. This is amazing, dude. How did I not know there was a wrestling game on the Sega? Can I get up here? How do you get up here? Bro, chill, I wanna get up there too, damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is incredible. Let me up here. Bro, chill. Yeah, without a doubt, by a wide margin, this is now my favorite handheld retro gaming console. There's got to be an easier way to say that, but that's what this is, right? It's a handheld console that emulates retro games. This one is by far my favorite easily. I, I just don't know. Like, there's something I like about all of them, but I feel like all the features I liked from the consoles previous, I took a feature from every single one of those consoles and put it into this one, and uh, it's gonna be hard to beat this one. So quickly, a few things about this console. It has a 3.2 inch screen. It's a Game Boy styled console, so realistically, how big could you make the screen? But if I was gonna nitpick anything, I feel like 
I don't know. Um, I wish the screen was a little bit bigger. If this whole screen is 3.2 inches, I, I can't really see because it's turned off. I think there's a bezel right there. If they could widen that a little bit, then we would really have something perfect here. But that's one of my few complaints is I wish the screen was a little bit bigger. But even when I'm playing like PlayStation or Nintendo 64 on this, never once did I feel like the screen was too small. For example, um, I messed around off camera with uh, Majora's Mask a little bit. And then I'm also playing Majora's Mask on Nintendo Switch Online on my Switch Lite. So not my Switch, my Switch Lite. I really didn't see a difference. Like, never once when I was playing it on this, so I was like, man, this is way too small. I'm going to go back and play it on my Switch. So, yeah, the screen really isn't that big of an issue. So the color I have is like this olive green color, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. But this does come in three colors. It comes in green, sky blue, yellow, and gray. If I had to choose, obviously I would go with the green, but the other one that I like a lot is sky blue. Like, the consoles are truly beautiful. So another amazing feature about this console, and I can't remember the last console that we reviewed, but one of my main issues with that console was the battery life. Can't remember what it was, but I remember saying, I wish it could be a little longer. This console right here that can play PlayStation and PSP and Nintendo 64 and everything else, has a 10 hour battery. That is phenomenal. And when I was reading the details, it says it only takes two hours to fully charge. So, I mean, that's another great thing that this console has going for it. I recorded me testing out the emulation and the games a few days ago, so I can't remember now, but I think at the time I said there was like 15,000 games in this console. That's incredible. Right here in the information, it says it supports over 20 consoles. So over 20 consoles in this little console and 15,000 games. What are we doing here, right? And one of my favorite things to do is guess the price because whenever they send me these consoles, they just send them to me and then I find out all the details later. So I like to guess the price as well. And for this one, I mean with 15,000 games, um, just a beautiful console, how much would this cost? I was guessing $125. And I think that's a fair price. This console is fully priced at $100. Now you know I like to get these consoles to cheaper. They're actually having a Black Friday sale right now. Um, so if you go into the description and click the link and use my promo code at checkout, which is ROBOT, you will save an additional 15%. And at that price, I mean, how could you not want to get this? And ladies and gentlemen, you have to remember, the holidays are coming up. If you have a friend or a family member who's a gamer, and they have every console and they have a PC and they have everything and you don't know what to get them, this is what you should get them. If I didn't already have this and I got this for Christmas, I would be so freaking happy. This is now my favorite handheld console that I've reviewed. Uh, and it's gonna be very hard to beat this one. But ladies and gentlemen, in the comments below, let me know what you guys are thinking because your opinion matters most. And remember, if you're interested in this console or any of the other consoles, click the link in the description and use promo code ROBOT at checkout to save additional money. And you guys know me, I will see you very soon with a new video. Peace out.